Hi everyone, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy Podcast, episode number 190. Welcome. Okay, so I've got finished objects, works in progress, so let's just get started and I will show you what I got done this week and what I worked on this week. <laughs> okay, so the first the finished object number one is actually two items but the same pattern, okay? This is a pattern that it's a it's a pattern by Yarnspirations. I just posted a um, or I did a t tutorial for it and posted it a few days ago. I will link it down in the description box below. But it is the Heart's Desire doily. I thought it would be really nice for um, Valentine's, and so I've got this um, holding it up against a dark. Uh, crocheted hat so that way you can see the pattern but anyway here it is now mine turned out to be about seven and a half inches diameter I believe that's what it was and what I used um, it, it said that you could use any uh, size cotton thread or yarn that you would like and of course that would make the um, size change of course and so what I used was I had some um, oh I call it doily thread but it's the crochet size 10 uh, crochet cotton thread and I used uh, two of them held together uh, I think it actually one of the sizes called for a number three cotton thread yeah, and they do make that size. I've got it, but I don't have that in blue. I, I mean, I'm in blue. I have it in blue, and I have it in red, but I don't have it in white. And so I decided to use the the number 10 size thread that I had held together, two strands. And that's the size that mine turned out to be, which was 7.5 inches roughly in diameter. So Okay, so this, I made one. And then to see how I liked it, and I liked it, and I thought it would make a, it would be a good for a tutorial because it looks fancy, but it's only got like nine rounds to the pattern, and so it's easy. I mean, you know, I thought it was easy. Oh, the pattern said it was easy. Anyway, so I decided to do do a tutorial, and I ended up making a second one for the tutorial. So there you go <laughs> and I think these are really nice in fact I was I had suggested that you could actually use crochet cotton yarn and then it would make it bigger it might make it I want to say plate size but you know like nine inches or something I'm not sure but I was thinking that you could then use some cotton yarn of a solid color like red and just uh, crochet a circle there's there's lots of tutorials here online that you can find f to crochet just a basic circle and you could use the same size hook and then crochet the circle and then stitch this on top of that solid circle that's a solid color and then you could use it for a uh, like a hot pad you know for Valentine's Day I think that would be cute if you use red on the background <laughs> uh, in the back anyway so that is my finished object to uh, finish object number one <laughs> okay so finish object number two is Doris the dolphin I showed you that a um, couple of weeks ago that I had started working on it and the pattern came from Zuma Gurumi book number four <laughs> okay and I got this off of Amazon I will put a link below in the description box where you can find this um, on Amazon I have I think you could probably find it possibly in one of the craft stores but I will put the Amazon link below um, if you want to check it out there okay so it's in Zumigurumi book number four and um, let me see who if I can get the designer name here um, it is Doris the Dolphin by Crystal or Christelle Krukert I'm not sure if I pronounce that right but there is the uh, dolphin okay and I made it just like the pattern although there was some uh, she had used some silver um, sequins uh, here and there around on the body and I didn't put that on there uh, but anyway here is my Doris the dolphin I think it turned out so cute now I used a worsted weight yarn I believe it called for let me see yeah it called for sport weight yarn in a smaller hook but I used worsted weight yarn because that's what I had the gray in and um, uh, let's see what size hook uh, an e-hook 3.5 millimeter anyway I think it's cute you start the nose and you do the whole entire body including 
the tail, the flukes on the tail, okay? So that's all one piece. And then you have to make the three fins, and they're exactly the same pattern. <laughs> and so you just make three of them and stuff them a little bit. I stuffed the bottom fins with the pectoral fins. I stuffed those lighter. I did stuff them, but not as, not as much as I stuffed the uh, dorsal fin, okay? And then you just stitch them on. Um, I had to make the... Um, the eye patch it's just a circle um actually it's a circle but then it has a little bit of more stitch on or bigger stitches on one side <laughs> and i used gray heather red heart super saver um i think that's what that is it's a dark gray you see that see and then i used 15 millimeter safety eyes okay and so anyway that's that's doris the dolphin i think it turned out really cute and uh, the reason I did it is because when I finished the elephant, the friendly elephant that I made um, recently, I had a little ball about so big of the gray yarn left over of this one big skein that I had. It's Mary Maxim value, Maxim value, I think is what it's called in gray. And so I wanted to use that ball up. And so I was looking for something to use the gray yarn. And I thought, well, something small like a mouse or, you know, something. But then I saw this and I thought, oh, I got to make that. <laughs> and so I used that ball up and then I had two other big skeins. It's almost like a jumbo skein, the big size. And so I got into that, the second one, because I had three originally. And so I got into that one or started into that one once I used the little ball up. So anyway, <laughs> I think it's so cute. <laughs> and so this will be, um, I, I would imagine it will be kept here for the grandbaby to play with when he, when he arrive after he arrives. <laughs> so anyway, that is Doris the dolphin. Super cute. Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay. So that is my finished objects is the doilies and then the dolphin. Okay. Um, and so let's go on to works in progress. Oh, and I do want to say that one of my goals for this year was, um, and I did it last year, and I, I, I had it as a goal for last year, but I kind of sort of met the goal, not really. <laughs> well, yeah, I almost did. And so what it, the goal was, it was called what I call Stitch Your Library, which is a Facebook group I was, well, I'm still a member of it, but it's not very active. It's the idea of using books and patterns that you have purchased and then they're just in your library and you haven't used them. And so I bought this a while back and so um, I want to try to do that. Now, the last year's goal, I actually said I wanted to make... And I put a number to it, like five out of books that I have already. And um, I didn't quite reach that. And so this time I did keep it as a goal stitch from your library, but I didn't put a number on it. And so, um, but I'm going to kind of, I am going to try to keep track to see how many patterns I actually use out of some books that I have already. And we'll see how it goes, you know, and at, at the end of the year, I'm going to keep track of it. So anyway, pattern number one of Stitch Your Library is out of a book I had already. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is an awesome book. There's some cute, cute patterns in here. I think I showed it to you before, but there is a pattern um, for a cat that is so cute. And let's see, I hold it up here and see if you can see it in the back. It's right down there at the bottom. See him? And he's got big back feet with pink toes. I think he is so cute, super cute. And so I'm sure I want to make him. Although I need to get the eyes because I think those call for like 20 millimeter eyes with like some sparkle on the iris. I think that would be super cute, but I have to order those. <laughs> okay, so I think that's cute. There's a really cute seahorse right there. <laughs> and um, I just think they're all cute. There's a horse, an actual horse, and it's got a saddle and bridle. That's cute. Anyway, it's a cute book. Uh, I, ha I have two of these Zumigurumi books, number four, this one, and number five, I believe. Um, yeah, and so uh, I would like eventually maybe to collect these. I think they're now on like book number 10. Um, so we'll see, you know, here and there, just grab one off of Amazon sometime um, uh, to have a collection of those. Okay, so going on to works in progress okay so works in progress number one is the sea life blanket now this is a blanket 
that I'm working on for my grandbaby to be <laughs> or to be born and um, I've showed you this pattern before the nursery theme for the, my grandbaby is going to be um, um, like the yellow submarine you know like beetles themed okay so yellow submarine they got a song about a walrus i think there's a song about an octopus something like that so i'm not real up on a lot of the beetle songs but this is what my son and daughter-in-law chose to use as the nursery i do love the little yellow submarine <laughs> so anyway i found this pattern it's on etsy i will link it below in the description box it's a paid for pattern but i think it's super cute and so this is a um uh, beach scene you know you've seen blankets like that but this one has got the yellow submarine and it's like right in the middle of it and then it's got some sea creatures and stuff those are all appliques that you add to the blanket and so I purchased the pattern um, and let me show you how much I've done so far so I'm just working on the beach part and so I, I showed it to you before and, I, and since the last time I showed you I think I got a pretty good amount done on it uh, since the last time yeah so here is the blanket there is the sand at the bottom of the, the or the, on the beach <laughs> and that is red heart super saver in the colorway buff okay and then i used white where you're making the transition you know like the sea foam and then uh what it called for is it called for a light blue and then a medium blue and then a dark blue well no turquoise you know like three different shades and I thought about doing that but then one of my awesome viewers uh, I can't remember the name I'm so sorry <laughs> but it was a viewer <laughs> and she suggested using ombre red heart ombre and I thought well I have two skeins of the red heart ombre in the colorway scuba which is turquoise colors and so that's what I've been doing now it's been a little bit more challenging because I've been having to pick out like this section wasn't hard to do I picked out the the light color out of the that skein okay and then you're supposed to transition to the me medium color and as you can see I got a line right here and it actually is the medium it's not the dark I'm reserving the darker color of the turquoise for the top of the blanket which is the deepest part of the ocean <laughs> and uh, but this right here is darker than some of this right here so I hope it doesn't look funny <laughs> and I thought well the ocean has got different depths anyway you know and uh, then I thought well maybe that's a that's a channel right there that was cut through <laughs> I don't know uh, but I, I'm liking it I'm not gonna rip it back and change it <laughs> and so I have um, I think I have three more rows of this medium color to finish uh, finish up and then I will go to transition a couple of rows I think with the between the medium and the dark turquoise color and then I will finish up the rest of it with the dark turquoise so uh, I'm using I've almost finished up one skein of the ombre and I'm into the second one now because I have to pick out certain shades uh, to put in certain places <laughs> and so I think it's going to end up using not all of it but I mean I'll have pieces of the two left over but anyway here you go I'm enjoying it <laughs> I think it's gonna look I think it's gonna look good and then of course I've got oh, oh let me let me put a picture right here <laughs> of what this is gonna look like with all the appliques and the things on it okay so here's that picture Okay, so you saw in the picture that this is the background, and then you have all these appliques that I will be making. There's like fish and dolphins and and um, the yellow submarine in the middle there, and um, there's, I think, a starfish or something, right? Is that right? Or a crab? I can't remember now. <laughs> On the beach, right? And then there's an octopus, and so it kind of picks out, and, and it's good because, like I said, there's some Beatles songs like that's got... A I don't know about a crab but it's got there's a Beatles song about an octopus I guess I haven't looked it up I know there's one about a walrus and so my daughter-in-law is like oh could you put a walrus on the beach and so um, I have got a couple of walrus appliques picked out uh, I found on Etsy haven't purchased them yet but I've got a couple that I'm looking at and so um, so we'll see which one I end up 
grab picking you know purchasing and then so I can add that to the blanket um, so anyway stay tuned for that but I'm having a good time putting it together <laughs> okay so let me put that aside here okay and so that was whips whip yeah works in progress number one works in progress number two is now that it is February today is February the 4th I had to look on my notes to make sure okay and so I am starting my preemie hat goal for the month and so I've started a new preemie hat this is a pattern I've made it before I don't know if I made it last year or not I might have made it the year before I can't remember but it is a monkey hat and I've oh, I haven't finished not quite yet almost but not quite this is a pattern by cream of the crop crochet.com and see I've got all of him all of him done except for his eyes and I do have I mean, I'll try to put them on there but see ooh, okay <laughs> I've got the eye patches there's one me I'll put those in the hold of my guess um, to see whoop. okay let me get that off okay <laughs> So I do have the eye patches, see? I just need to, um, the pattern has calls for some buttons that you sew onto the white eye patch, okay? And then sew it onto the hat. And so instead of using buttons, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, use some black crochet number the number 10 crochet thread you know for doilies I've got some I think I've got some in black and so I will just make a circle the pupil out of that stitch that on to this in the middle so I'll just make it where it'll fit in the middle of that this circle <laughs> and then stitch the eyes on once I do that and then um, it'll be finished so next week this will be a finished object uh, but I think it's so cute <laughs> and I will link it below in the description box patterns to the, all these things I'm talking about so this one was not a paid-for pattern this is free so I will link that below the other the other two I showed you is not free uh, paid for patterns well yeah Doris and the beach and but this one is a free pattern by your inspirations the doily and so of course I will link that below as well okay Okay, going on to number three works in progress is the nativity set. I started the next character, <laughs> and so this is the nativity set I'm working on, okay? And last year I did a crochet kit, same company, but it was uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And so I did that one character per month, and it lasted the whole entire year, which is awesome until I got uh, about October, November, and I was getting a little bit... Um, not really burnt out on them because I enjoyed making them but just get busy going toward the holiday season and so it w I did get them done before Christmas all of them but it was a little bit you know a little rushed and stressed getting the last few done so I decided I want to do this nativity scene set for this year but I am just going to go and make them is whenever I want to make them and get them done before the end of the year you know before even maybe I don't know I mean I've done three already and this is February well just barely February and I've started the fourth one so that's good okay so what I am making of this set I've already made Mary Joseph and baby Jesus okay and so I am making or oh here the shepherd that's the next one I am just following in the booklet let me see where's the booklet I thought I brought it in here well okay oh here it is <laughs> okay so I'm the, this is the booklet that came in it and there's 12 patterns 12 items to crochet there's people and animals for the nativity set and a star okay and so an angels <laughs> okay and so I'm just following the uh, order of the patterns in this book and so the next number four the next one is the shepherd and so I'm going to be doing the shepherd Okay, so I'll show you. In fact, I've started him, but like when I started Joseph, now I think, now he is here somewhere, unless I dropped him. I've just got his head done. <laughs> oh, there he is. Found him. <laughs> okay, so I've just got his head, see? with the safety eyes in. I started his body, um, but I was using a leftover ball of some brown for the, um, his, his uh, tunic, I guess you call it a tunic, I don't know. But 
I ran out and I still knew I had to have the arm to do the sleeves or the arms, you know, and so I had to rip it off, rip it out, and I'm going to, I had to get another uh, color, similar color, but another color to um, do his outfit. So he is just a head right now, <laughs> but um, I will get on to that and maybe I'll get it finished this week and be, it'll be a finished object next week. We'll see. But anyway, uh, that's number four. And so, and since it's February and I'm working on number four, that's good. <laughs> okay. Um, and, and let's see, did I say yes? I will link, I got this off of Amazon and so I will link it below as well. Uh, but you might be able to find it other places, but I will link it, uh, the Amazon link to it and it's affiliate link. So check it out if, if you want to take a look at it. <laughs> okay. Um, what next? What is next? Works in progress. That was number three. One more. Okay. Works in progress. Number four is a pencil case. And I was just going through some patterns that I had bookmarked on my computer. I was just kind of cleaning the list up. I've got a huge list <laughs> and just going through things. And I found this and I thought, Oh, I want to try this. I'd forgotten about it. And so this is a pencil case and it's using uh, tapestry crochet. Yeah tapestry crochet and so uh it's not finished of course it's a works in progress not finished yet but look isn't that cute i love the way the colors did now the yarn that i used is red heart super saver Stri super saver stripes in parrot stripes and of course it didn't even get any of these other colors it was just the green and the the yellow green part uh it didn't use hardly any yarn there's a little bit blue under the bottom there but it didn't use hardly any so um it's great if you just have a little ball of some of the super saver stripes i think that would be awesome i think i was yeah i weighed it and i believe because i was trying to think how much it took i think it took like 36 grams and that is even with the white so actually the colored part would be less anyway that's what mine took when I used it and I think I used a it calls for I think a G hook yeah a four millimeter hook and so that's what I used anyway it's not finished I'm going to line it because I did not cut and weave in when I had to change colors between the white and the color and so it's a mess inside right now <laughs> but I'm going to um, kind of tame that a little bit and then I want to line it which it's not called for lining it did have a zipper and it, she shows you how she puts the zipper in. Um, but I'm going to, I think, go a step further and figure out a lining that I could just sew in with my machine and, and put a zipper on. And I think it's going to be really cute. Um, and I, it was real quick to put up, put, you know, to make. And so be looking for more of these in the future because I'm thinking, well, I'm going to make some, but I'm going to put different images, you know, and um, I think they would be really cute. And you could use it for pencil cases, like for a child for school supplies or crochet hooks, <laughs> um, notions, you know, and I think this is going to be really fun to do. I'm already making a list of different uh, care, not care, well, yeah, images that I want to put on. Um, using tapestry crochet and, and working it into the pattern. So I'm going to go with this. I mean, you know, run with it and, and come up with some other uh, images that I can put on here. But anyway, this pattern is from um, sincerely, sincerelypam.com, I think. I will link it below. Okay, and so uh, I should be able to show you this uh, next episode and you will see it all finished and I could talk about how I... Um, uh, you know, put the lining in and all that, and how it turned out. <laughs> so, um, uh, be looking for that a picture of, you know, be looking for it. Cause I think it's going to be really cute. Really like that. Okay. So, um, that is all my works in progress projects. Okay. So let's go on to upcoming. Okay. So yesterday I put out the video the whip wall Wednesday episode number 22 and I showed you what I was been working on the project I've been working on for that series of videos I'm almost finished with it so um, so the next time I do whip wall Wednesday I will uh, show that one finished and then uh, talk about the project I'm gonna do after I'm finished with that one so if you want to check out um, 
that and see what I'm working on, then uh, I will link it below in the description box. So go check that out. Okay, so I did that out. I put that out yesterday. Okay, so that is Whip All Wednesday. I, I post every other Wednesday. And so alternating the Wednesday I don't do Whip All Wednesday, I am doing doing the collaboration that I have just, we have just started, a group of us, called Movie and Stitch. And so so next week on Wednesday, I will be doing my Movie and Stitch um, video. <laughs> okay. So what else? Oh, and I also made a video. I haven't I haven't uploaded it yet. I've got to do it. I, well, let's see. I have edited. I have to upload it and put links and all that. But I I uh, just ordered several books, all Amigurumi pattern books, and I received all of them. And so I wanted to show you what I ordered and, and where I ordered them from and how much they cost because I think I got a good deal on all of them. Um, and so I did a video showing acquisitions. Um, and t describing those books and so I should be posting that video up um, today is Thursday I'll probably do it maybe on on the weekend like on Saturday or Sunday or something I'll just schedule it to be uh, posted probably Saturday anyway um, so that is um, will be upcoming as well okay and then I do want to show you that I got a card yeah, I got a card in the mail in my post office box from Marsha, who is made by Marsha's mom, Marsha, here on YouTube. I'll link her in the description box below. Uh, she sent me a card. She makes handmade cards, and they are beautiful. <laughs> and um, she sent me a Valentine's card. And so... In true Marsha style, I know you've heard other YouTubers say this, you always have to be careful when you open Marsha's cards because a lot of times there'll be confetti that falls out of it. Well, this time is no exception. So I open the card and I have a bunch, I don't know if you can see them, but there are a bunch of hearts that she punched punched out over the punch, I guess it was she did, and included inside the um in the card I think that's so cute <laughs> and then so she sent me this let me show you the card this and she, like I said she made the card beautiful beautiful um, and let's see she's just saying how she enjoyed my channel and she was thinking of me and and wanted to wish me a happy Valentine's Day you know and so I think that's awesome hugs to you Marsha and she also included a bookmark that she made, which is awesome. It says, hello, sunshine, on this side. And then the back side says, make today amazing, made with love. So she sent me a bookmark. So thank you so much, Marsha. Okay, uh, and let's see. I think that is it that I was wanting to, yeah. Yep, that's it. <laughs> so, a uh, lot's going on. I think I got a lot of work done on, or I worked on a lot of things, as usual. As usual. <laughs> um, so, I think that's it, yeah. So, everybody have a great week. Uh, I do want to say that I'm so close. I'm getting so close to 12,000 subscribers. I'm so excited about that. Uh, thank you so much to those that are that subs have subscribed to my channel, the new folks that have just joined us. Welcome. I hope you enjoy uh, watching my videos. <laughs> and uh, I, I look forward to interacting with you. I love all the comments that everybody's... Um, puts down on my videos it just makes my day um and of course thank you to the subscribers that have been with me from the beginning i'm so uh, grateful for all of you uh so if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel please consider doing so and joining us and watching me work on my projects i'll show the progress of all my projects and talk yarny goodness with everybody you know it's always fun to be able to talk and listen to people talking about things that we all love which is crochet or yarn <laughs> um and i do put out uh tutorials and um, other extra little things here and there so uh, if you are enjoying my channel then please uh, consider subscribing if you haven't uh, let's see that is it I guess <laughs> so everybody have a great weekend coming up I think it's going to be a great one <laughs> and um, we will see you in the next video bye guys